Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Question for you guys, 16 by 19, 18 by 20. Which one do you like better? You want a more open string pattern or a more dense string pattern? Why are, why are rackets made with two different string patterns? Like this blade, 18 by 20, 16 by 19. Now, I'm gonna tell you that I sell the 16 by 19 probably 90% of the time. And I sell this 10% of the time. Why is that? Well, the 16 by 19 with the more open string pattern gives you more spin, right? When the strings are farther apart, the strings have more room to move plus it's easier to move the string when you're hitting that top spin or when you're hitting that slice. Uh, if you wanted to hit through the ball and you hit flatter, you would go with the 18 by 20 because the strings aren't gonna move if you're gonna hit flat, right? You're gonna get more control. Um, you can you know, hit it pretty much as hard as you can or want. Uh, as long as you keep it low, it'll keep the ball in for you. So a little more power, a little more spin, definitely more control. Now, why do they even make an 18 by 20 then is a question that I always get asked. Well, when I pose that question to the manufacturer, they say, well, the 18 by 20 is loved by Europeans. So on a surface of clay, um, this, is much more effective because you're trying to hit through the ball, right? So you're, you're hitting through the ball flatter, right? You want the ball to carry a little more, whereas you will get maybe a little too much power with the 16 by 19. So this is the 16 by 19 is geared towards Americans, 18 by 20, more Europeans. So that's why sometimes you don't see rackets that are made in Europe, right? That are made in America, right? So they have special rackets that are uh, maybe denser in the strings. We have the more open string patterns. Um, it'd be curious to know how many of the S's they sold. Remember they were making a blade um, in an S pattern, which was a 18 by 16. I'll bet most of those were sold in America. Um, you know, Europeans probably wouldn't like something like that. Plus it broke strings too fast too. So that, oh, that leads me to the next one. 16 by 19, you're probably gonna be breaking strings faster. 18 by 20, a lot harder to break strings. So, hey, what's the benefit? What's the why one over another? Well, you'll have to ask yourself. You'll have to try both of these rackets. Um, in my personal opinion, the 18 by 20, to me, just feels deader. There's more strings in it, right? So the denseness causes less power, less feel. When there's less strings, you know, there's more liveliness to it, more of a trampoline feel effect. And again, more spin. I'm gonna show you the difference. Now, you can see in this Prestige Pro, that's a 16 by 19, look at how big those squares are. Right, this is, this is the Tour, which is an 18 by 20. Look at how little the squares are. So I'm gonna hold them together like that for you. So which one is easier to move? when you hit your topspin forehand? Probably this one. So let's take a look. I'm gonna see how, see, look, there's more, there's more space to move in there, right? To snap back, right? When I take the 18 by 20, it's harder to move this, right? It's harder, I'm trying my best to move this it would be a lot harder to gain topspin out of this 18 by 20. 
So if you're a flat hitter, this is going to definitely help you keep the ball in the court. So 16 by 19, 18 by 20, spin, flat. Here in America, I mean, we probably, at least I go probably 85% or more into the 16 by 19s. I mean, if you look at my wall, um, right, does Babolat even make a pure drive in an 18 by 20? I would say no. Our arrow pros or pure arrows, bananas, are bananas made in a 18 by 20? No, they are not, right? Uh, even this new Pure Arrow VS isn't made in a 18 by 20, nor the Pure Drive VS. That's not made in the 18 by 20. So you see here in America that, you know, most rackets are geared towards the hard court, geared towards that top spin, right? Not so geared towards hitting through the ball. Um, I would say, man, how many even do I carry in an 18 by 20? Um, I know I have that speed, speed pro 18 by 20, um, gravity pro or tour 18 by 20, prestige, the prestige MP comes in an 18 by 20, the strike comes in an 18 by 20. So, and, and as well as that, that blade that we just went over. So I basically only carry five models of 18 by 20. Everything else on this wall is more open, right? They don't make a clash in an 18 by 20. They're all 16 by 19s. So even the Fed racket, they don't make an 18 by 20 here. They're all 16 by 19s. Um, even Yonix, I mean, these E-Zones, 16 by 19. They added that V-Core Pro HD in an 18 by 20. So that's six rackets that I could count uh, that I have some of in an 18 by 20. But everything else, I would say, in an American um, Pro Shop is going to be 16 by 19 or something just like that kind of an open string pattern. It's just the way our surface is. It's the way our balls are extra duty. It's the way our stroke is. So that's, you know, that's kind of how our population is. So even Serena Williams, um, well, she doesn't play with this racket. She endorses this racket. Even the Serena Williams 104, um, has changed. This used to be a 18 by 19 pattern, which is pretty much unheard of. It's like the only racket that's like that. And it was on a 104 too. In this model V7, they went to 16 by 19. All right, easier to play with, more spin, more power. In the American market, less strings is more power for us more spin for us we just like it more um i use i hand somebody an 18 by 20 and they usually hand it back to me saying this racket's dead so in our surface in our country in our rackets we like that 16 by 19. tell me where you're from and if you use an 18 by 20 or a 16 by 19. Um, and maybe tell me why, because I want to hear from you on this one. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.